Do yep. a video today to show you the wind deflectors on the Freelander 2. They're fairly simple to fit, but sometimes uh, the devil's in the detail. So this is what they look like. We fitted them on this side already, so we can pretend we know what we're doing. Although having said that, it wasn't me that fitted them. So I'm gonna make up. So in the kit, you will get obviously four wind deflectors. Um, they're, they're all shaped pretty uniquely, so you can obviously tell where they fit. So, yeah, right. The first thing to do is to obviously before you remove the double sided tape, you want to do the front one first. You want to do the front one first? I'd recommend doing the front one first. Recommend it. Did you do them on the other side? Nope. No? And Kate did them. Where's but she? It, if, it'll give you a spacing for right. up the top there. Okay, so obviously, yeah, the trick is with any of these stick on parts, work out where they go before you remove the tape. Um, it sounds silly or obvious. Um, right, so the tape is going to want to stick on the bodywork. Um, so it looks like we're going to want to go with the tape. Yeah, go, there's a good angle there. We've got a bit of trim missing there. So it looks like we want to stick just on, just above that line there. And if we come all the way to the back there, level with that, how does that look at the front then? If we bring that down, parallel with that. Yeah, be careful you don't. See, it lifts there if we get too close to that wing mirror so we want to be there so we're happy with that right happy with that yep he's happy with that right so we've got two of these little alcohol cleaning sachet wipe things in the kit so you've got one for each side so i'm just going to clean the area here and this just removes any like waxy polish or silicon lubricants right we've got to do the back half as well so we haven't worked out where that goes, but we can take a fairly good guess. And just have a quick look where that goes. Ooh. So let's have a look, we've got tape there. So I'm guessing it's gonna go right up to the front again. The tape's gonna wanna go above that bit there, along there. Yeah, and that's right, that comes right to the back door there. So yeah, we're gonna have to make sure he comes, he comes right up to the back there, okay? Right. So we're going to need to clean, clean that bit there as well, down there, down there. Have we washed this recently? No. No. Right then. The windows look nice and clean there. Eh? Yeah, windows are little. Super tints. Right then. Here we go. So we've got this ready. Ah, oh, see what they've done here. This is clever because you've got a little bit of spongy foam there. And I guess that's where it goes over that step. Oh, I've got that bit of trim missing. Am I going to cover over my bit of missing trim? I am. Result. There you go. If anyone's got a bit of missing trim, here's your solution. Right. There we go. Gosh. Good job I've got nails today. We Okay. Right then. So I reckon start on this back edge again. Oh, you're the wrong side again. Are you? Right then. So I reckon we want to go right to the back there. So that little bit is... Get that so he's right on. There you go, right, and then, right. Now I've got the back sort of stuck. I think you'll be all right, right, come around the front now. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna feel where it rides over that wing mirror and wants to sit there. There we go, okay. Right, and have I got a clean anky today? Let's hope so, look at that. Right, now, it's gonna sound obvious, but don't take it through a car wash for 24 hours and don't go, oh, how well is it stuck? Because it can take 24 hours for the adhesive to reach full strength. So give it half a chance. Again, it's got another bit of that spongy foam stuff there where it goes over that step. Yeah. Right then. So we've obviously got this one here. So we're gonna wanna line this one up, but you wanna go right, right, right to the front. Judging by it, that looks about right, doesn't it? Right, okay, let's, right, now let's get that. We need to get this straight at the back. So I'm looking at this top edge here, and you want really to get that parallel there, really, because it's going to meet it anywhere, isn't it? Ooh, there we go, let's have a look. I'm going to go there, front, there. Right then. How have we done there? It's not looking too bad. That looks pretty spot on. There we go. So, it's fairly straightforward. That's the wind deflectors.